So it is moving week. I've basically moved so much since I left London. I left London in 2014 and since then I stayed with my sisters um, for a while. Then I moved back home with my mum. I then moved into my family home. I used to live here as a kid and it's a huge house. It's like um, 12 bedrooms and oh, it's huge. So it was just me living here all on my own. I was here about three weeks before I knew it wasn't what I wanted. And within four weeks, I decided I was moving again. So I have just started renting my first place on my own. I have lived on my own before. I lived on my own for three years in Epsom. And I guess it wasn't on my own. I was with my partner at the time. He come and moved with me as well. So, so this is the first time I'm going solo in my own place, my own home. And I can't wait to just make it homely. The whole time I was at uni, all I ever spoke about was getting my own place in London and making it homely, and it just never happened. So it's finally happening for me. The curtains have come down. Done it all myself, Miss Independent. And everything is packed up. That's what this week's vlog is gonna be all about. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know. I'm excited. Today's the day I'm moving home. I'm not actually moving anything until later tonight, but I'm collecting my keys at 2.30 and I'll probably go up to the flat and check it out and give you a little room tour before everything's in there. And part of me wishes I wasn't going away Saturday because then I could make the most of it, but I literally have two days in my new place and then I go away on Saturday. So I definitely got to make the most of it. the new place and we just arrived. Um, I'm just going to give you a little tour before all my stuff gets here but I just had a little bitch fit with my mum because they've changed the carpets and they've painted the walls magnolia whereas when I looked at the property they were white and the carpets they were cream like they are in the bedroom but they've put down this to me, I think it's horrible, um, dark brown. But I'm gonna give you a tour. So you come in and you have bedroom one, which this is gonna be my office. And then you have bedroom two, which is my bedroom. And then to the right is my bathroom. And then you keep going, and this is my living room. This is my view. So some nice sunrises, I'm sure will be here. And this is my kitchen. So I'm getting new stalls, because these are weird. Um, but yeah, this is it. That is my new, of course, Pepsi in the fridge. I'm definitely going to be painting the walls white because I can't deal with Magnolia and um, I'm going to, yeah, just have to deal with the carpet. Maybe get a big rug. What do you think, Mum? Well, I like it, but obviously you're bitching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel happier now. I was having such a little bitch fit. Gemma, is that working? Which one is it, Joanna? Mum, you just it. answered my doorbell before me. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, I don't know. Is it working, Jen? Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, bottom one. It's the bottom one, oh, okay. So it works. You At least you can see who it is. <laughs> but you just yeah. answered it before me. All right, so what? Keep going. By the time you get to the top, you want to go to sleep. Hello. 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 I can see it. Where? Well, like Hello to my new visitors. Hi, Alan. Did you see my new car? Yeah, sorry, I'm fine. Hello, welcome to my home. 
Welcome well to our home. My darling. Did you have a nice walk up the stairs? Thanks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> pivot, pivot. So everything is finally in the flat. And it's 8.30 now, but we had to take everything up six flights of stairs with no lights out here either. I believe in pizza. Everything is now up here. And some dough balls. Mm. Love these. So Mama Josie has just left. It's now midnight. She's left my electric blanket on as well. <laughs> She's so cute. We got pizza and she wouldn't leave until I had put my bed together, put the sheets on my bed and got out my kitchen stuff and basically unpacked everything. But I literally got to the point where I was like, okay, mum, I can't do any more. This is, this is okay for tonight. But she loves to just see me settled and organised. But thank you, Mama, for all your help. I love you. So now I'm just home alone in my home. <laughs> I just want to show you what my view is like at night time. Hang on, I want to show you what it's like from my bedroom. Look at that. Literally, from my bedroom, look at the lights. It's amazing. This is just the best thing ever. And when I came into this flat, I knew I just had to have it. You can't really see, but this is the harbour and all the boats are along there. So, this is it at night. Oh, it's so beautiful. So that's going to be the end of today, I reckon. I literally just come into the kitchen, opened my bottom drawer, and I found this drawer. My mum has already made me a crisp drawer. This is typical. At home, we have a crisp drawer. And it's always the bottom drawer. So thanks, Mama, for <laughs> hooking me up. up to a really nice sunny day and the views are even better than yesterday they're lovely so I've just finished filming my February haul managed to unpack some more stuff just gonna finish editing my haul and get that up today hopefully my internet still isn't working in my flat so it's a little bit annoying I'm gonna have to go to a cafe or go around to my mum's or something It was Danielle's birthday a few weekends ago and she went away to Amsterdam and then the week after I was in Paris so I thought this week it would be nice to make her feel special because she's so lovely. So I've just got her some balloons, a card, got her a little present and the, all the girls were meant to come round but I think because we're going away tomorrow they're all a bit not ready. So I know Danielle's on her way now so I'm quickly going to wrap her present and she'll be here. Sitting on the side of the back street baby Coming to the sound of a ukulele <laughs> The first spider in the flat, Rihanna wouldn't let me kill it. She said she wouldn't come snowboarding with me if I killed it.
Rory, how are you feeling, mate? All right. <laughs> Just lie, but...